Ultra wide monitors are more popular than ever and offer PC gamers a unique and immersive way to play the finest PC titles. This video will explore the pros and the cons of ultra wide and ultimately help you in your buying decision to determine whether an ultra wide monitor is for you. But if you think I've yabbered on enough already, then you can cut to the chase because I've left some of my favorites down in the description below. The thing that makes a monitor ultra wide is the aspect ratio, as rather than the traditional 16x9 widescreen formats, the monitors use 21x9, meaning that for every 9 vertical lines of pixels, there are 21 horizontal lines. This results in a screen that is much wider than your average display, giving you more pixels for work, play, and everything in between. Ultra wides come in pretty much only one shape, but many sizes, with the most popular ones being 29 and 34 inches. I'd recommend that if you do go for a 29 inch that you get a resolution of 2560 by 1080 or if you go for 34 inches then 3440 by 1440. This is to keep the display looking sharp as a 34 inch monitor with a full HD ultra wide resolution ends up looking a little on the softer side. My personal monitor, the LG UC99, sports a gigantic 38 inch screen but then increases the resolution to make up for this. There are many factors that makes a monitor good though and it's really important to do your research. You should be looking for the monitor that caters to your individual needs as every monitor is different and you want one that suits you. For the best image quality you want a screen that uses an IPS or VA panel. Both of these have better colours than a cheaper TN panel and will look significantly better for films, games and image editing. If you're a gamer though, you'll want something that has a low amount of input lag and in an ideal world you want something that has a high refresh rate that exceeds 100Hz for the smoothest possible gameplay. All of this won't come cheap though, so you may need to make some compromises. Now a question I get asked pretty much all of the time when it comes to ultrawides is whether it's worth picking up a curved display. And they're normally more expensive and they can pick up more reflections in the room if you've got a lot of light sources and if you're working with straight lines professionally then you'll probably find that having a curved monitor isn't the best idea. But for me personally I've always preferred going for a curved one because it just means that the corners are a little bit nearer to you and it just feels that little bit more natural. As for the exclusive benefits of using an ultra wide though Realistically, for me, it's all about that immersion, as put simply, there is nothing else quite like it. If you're a gamer and you have a suitable graphics card, then games like Mass Effect Andromeda will genuinely blow your mind. And if you're a movie fan, you're in for a real treat when watching native content on one of these displays. But it's not all about multimedia, as they're fantastic for work too as it will allow you to use larger spreadsheets or have larger photos on screen while still showing all of the software user interface and as someone that's editing video all the time, an ultra wide really is best. Comparing directly against multiple monitors, you'll find that an ultra wide saves on cable clutter, large and distracting bezels and in many cases it will actually be a fair bit cheaper too. Having said this though, there are definitely some drawbacks and as such there are some disadvantages that you do need to be aware of. Because of the 21x9 form factor, you're going to end up with black bars on any normal 16x9 content, so if you're watching a lot of TV or YouTube, it's something you're going to have to learn to get used to. It's not really a problem though until you start looking at games consoles as these are actually unable to support the resolution at all and as such console gamers will actually suffer from dreaded black bars on everything. PC games aren't completely immune to issues either, as the game will need to support the aspect ratio, though pretty much every big release these days will, and you'll need to have the graphics prowess to actually push the extra pixel count, though it is much easier to drive than 4K. It's also worth bearing in mind that while many applications will love that extra width, it's not ideal for every situation, as streamers, colorists, multitaskers, they may well favour the separation that only multiple monitors can provide. So then, are ultrawides actually worth it? Well, for the majority of consumers, I'd actually wager yes, as the extra screen real estate and that immersion are things that you just can't really get from anything else. There's definitely situations where you'd be better off with a regular display, especially for users that regularly game on a console or want to watch a lot of 4K video, but I've been using ultrawides for years and it's not something that I'll be switching from anytime soon. 
If you are interested in picking up an ultra wide, then I'll leave all of my favorites in the description below so you can go and check them out. But if you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button as it lets others know it's a video worth watching. Hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this. But do let me know down in the comment section below whether you're on team ultra wide or team 16 by nine. But I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.